Hey guys, I hope you just had some great workouts. We're gonna give you a few key stretches to do. You can do these anytime you want, whenever you feel like you need a good stretch. Just make sure you're warm first or you just came from a workout and then you can go ahead and do this set of stretches. So the first one is really nice, simple. You're gonna pull one quad in, keeping your chest up nice and tall, just stretching through the quad exhaling here whatever workout you just had or if you're just wanting to get a good stretch in this is really nice just keep breathing nice deep exhale important to exhale while you're stretching good let's switch sides so the other quad pulling in keeping the hips nice and level and the chest up tall we're gonna hold each stretch about 20 seconds on each side if you need more time you're welcome to take it all right next stretch we're gonna come into a nice lunge position so I want one foot forward knees in line with the toes lunging forward you're gonna feel the first part of this stretch in your hip flexor and the front part of your quad so you're pushing forward through that part open up through the chest hold for a few seconds and then you're gonna bend that back knee just a little bit and you're gonna start to feel it a little more through your calf in the back leg. Really nice. All right, let's switch sides. Other foot back, pressing forward, opening up through the hip flexor first, front part of the quad, chest is up tall. And then when you're ready, you slight bend in the knee just to feel it a little bit more through the calf. Really nice. Exhaling here. Deepening the stretch a little bit as you exhale. Good, all right, next stretch. We're gonna come open up through the chest, so bringing the hands behind your body, interlacing the fingers and opening up through the chest. Slight tilt up with the chin. Just open up through the chest. Exhale. And then we reverse this rounding through the back interlacing the fingers forward stretching through the shoulder blades nice round back yes good all right we're also going to stretch the side bodies so opening up through the side stretching through your ribs just nice reaching over through the side lateral stretch and then switch sides Exhale. Yes, good. All right, continuing with our arm stretches, bringing your tricep up and over, pulling down on your elbow as you do this, just keeping your chest up tall. And then switch sides. Yeah, good. Exhaling. Nice, we're gonna also just stretch through the wrists here. So open up through your wrist, one side down. Nice light stretch here. Don't overextend through the wrist. And switch sides. Nice and easy. Good, and then just give your wrists a little bit of a shake. Just make them nice and loose. Yes, good. All right, we're gonna come down onto our mats. So going into a tabletop pose, knees and hands on the ground. We're gonna stretch the shoulder blades. So you thread one arm through and you come down to lean on your shoulder blade, stretching through the back and the shoulder. Exhale. And go ahead and switch sides threading through exhale nice light stretch through the shoulder and the back of the body good coming back up in case you just did any of our core workouts you can come down onto your stomach hands in by the side and then pushing up stretching through the stomach the front body Exhaling. Open up the shoulders. Chest is up nice and high. Don't overextend here, just what feels good to you. 
and then come onto your knees and slide all the way back into a yoga pose, child's pose. So you're stretching your fingers forward. You can feel this through your shoulders, through the back upper part of your shoulder blades. And it's some, sometimes a nice release for the lower back as well. Exhale. Good, coming back into that tabletop, we're gonna move on with a few more yoga poses. So we're gonna come up first, just into that nice down dog. We've done this a couple times. So the heels go towards the ground, hips go up towards the air. But we're just gonna use this to come into what we call pigeon. So we wanna bring one foot forward and down onto the mat and then just sink down, keeping the chest up nice and tall here, stretching through your glutes and your hip. It's a really nice release, especially for the lower body. If you just did any of the lower body workouts, just keeping your hips nice and open. You can stay here as long as you want. If you need a deeper release, you can also come down, stack your hands and go ahead and put the head down. Whatever feels good to you, we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So coming back up onto that foot, back up into that down dog, the heels go towards the floor, hips up towards the ceiling, and we bring the other foot down and across, opening up, keeping the chest up nice and tall, and again, feel that stretch through the side body. Exhale. Yeah, nice release for the hips. If you want, again, you can come down, putting the hands down, bringing the head down, and you get just even a little more stretch. Exhale, release, releasing through the hips. Really nice. All right, last one. We're gonna go ahead and stand all the way back up. And I just want you to come, exhale down, release your whole body down, your head down, shoulders down, hands down, and release through the hamstrings just to get that nice, long, deep hamstring release. If you want here, you can grab your elbows. Exhale. Just let yourself hang down. And when you release your elbows, you're often a little bit farther released down. Really good long hamstring release. And when you're ready, come on up nice and slow. Thanks so much for joining us. I really enjoyed it. Hope you like this nice stretch here at the end. And uh, check out some of the other workout videos if you're interested. All right, see you later.